Hello friends, welcome to practice Selenium Java automation here training series. As part of this session, which is nothing but the part four of this series, I am going to automate a different web application. I have picked up this let code dot in, okay, where there are some exercises provided by Kaushik, okay. So I will click on workspace. And uh, here you see, there are a lot of things. Practice and become pro in test automation. There are a lot of exercises available here. I'll pick the first exercise, okay? So remaining exercise also I'll cover one by one later. But for now, let's pick the first one, input. Exercise related to the input fields. Interact with different type of input fields, okay? So here, this particular section will test you whether you are able to, you know, automate input fields in different ways and all, okay? So in order to get started here, I have to click on this edit option and then I'll be taken to this particular page guys where I can see a lot of input fields available. So, and there are some activities also provided. You see, this is input page uh, where you see the lot of uh, fields are there, text fields are there, are there. And above the text box fields, there are some messages here, you see, enter your full name. That means into this, into this text field, we have to enter the full name with the help of Selenium automation, okay? And uh, what, what is the activity that you have to do with the second text box field as per this uh, activity page? Append a text and press keyboard key. I should not be clearing this text, but rather, okay, for this particular text, I have to append some other text. For example, I am a good uh, person. I am good teacher. I am a good lecturer. I am good uh, lawyer, doctor, etc., etc. You can append, okay? And then you have to press the tab key. After entering, you have to press the tab key, guys. So here, we also have to press the tab key. How to press the tab key also I'll cover, okay? Then what is inside the text box? What is inside the text box? That means in this text box, there is some text that we have to retrieve with the help of Selenium Java automation script and print in the Eclipse ID output console. There's a third task we have to do. Now the fourth one is clear the text. In this text field, whatever the text that is coming by default, I have to clear it out, okay? I have to clear. Then confirm edit field is disabled. The next one is confirm whether edit field is disabled. Okay, so there is a text field here which is in disabled state. Using Selenium automation, I have to confirm whether this particular text field is in disabled state or not. And finally, the last one, this text is read only. Okay, so really this text is read only, guys. We have to confirm that. Okay, this particular text box field is read only. We can only read the text, but we cannot, uh, you know. Mm, enter or modify the text, okay? Because this is a read-only field. I have to confirm that this text field is a read-only field. Using Selenium automation, I have to confirm. So let's begin, guys. Hope you got the activity that I'm going to automate with the help of Selenium Java now before you. So to get started, I'll just uh, switch to this Eclipse ID. And in this uh, project, I'll right-click here and create a new package. So I'll say, let code, okay? Let code practice. This application I have taken, so I am just giving the name as let code practice, and under that I'll create a new class. I'll just uh, name this class as uh, inputs demo, okay? Inputs demo, and I'll just select this public static void main. So we have inputs demo class. You can give any name and main method. Inside this, I'll write the Selenium automation code. I'll get started like this: web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Web driver driver is called new Chrome driver. Hover the mouse on this web driver. And, uh, you know, a lot of options are coming. If you are not getting the import statement, this project is already configured with Selenium, but uh, some cases these days, you are not getting the import statements. So one way is to manually, if you remember the import statement, you can write it manually, or you have to hover the mouse and say, fix project setup, select this line, say, okay. Select this line and say, okay, the import statement will get added. In some cases that uh, fixed project setup also may not work. Uh, in that case, you have to Google it out and, you know, find the, this import statement per web driver. Okay. In Selenium. Okay. Then add it manually here. The error will go off. And after that, hover the mouse on Chrome driver and import it from Selenium. This will open the Chrome browser. Now I have to maximize the browser window. I simply write down driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. Then I simply say driver dot get. To open up, this will maximize the browser. Here, this get command will open the application URL. I'll give this URL like this. Okay, this copy this URL. Let code uh, dot in slash edit option. Let edit URL. Once you are on this page now, 
have to do all the activities one by one. First thing is that I have to enter the, my full name into this text field. So first for that, I'll right click and inspect this uh, text field. And the HTML code for the text field will come here in the bottom. It has an ID, copy this ID, copy this ID, come back here. Simply write down driver dot, find element, by dot, ID, provide the ID locator. Okay, here directly you can see dot send keys command you can use, okay. Using the send keys command, we'll be able to type, I will be able to type my full name into the text box field. So here double quotes and I'll give my full name. That is uh, my full name is, first name is Arun and uh, last name is Motori. Full, full, full name is Arun Motori. Now using this simple send case command, here they have given a clue also if you want, okay? So on completion of this exercise, you can learn the following one. You see with the help of send keys, I will be able to enter my name like this into the this particular text field, okay? After this task is completed, I have to go with the next one. Here in the second task, okay? The second task, I have to append the text. At the same time, I have to press keyboard key, okay? I should not clear this particular text, rather I have to enter some text which will get appended with this existing text. I'm a good teacher like that, okay? I would like to append like that, okay? So for that to happen, I'll inspect this text field, this HTML code for this uh, text field, and uh, you see there's an ID, copy this ID, and simply write down driver dot find element by dot ID, provide the ID locator, and say dot send keys, the send keys, I'll do something, Whatever the text I would like to append, right? Okay, that text I'll provide here. So for for uh, for entering the text freshly also, the same command send keys we have to use. For appending also, when you send keys, the send keys command is not going to clear this particular text, guys, okay? Instead, since already some existing text is there in the text box field, the send keys command will append the text to the existing text, okay? I'll give some space here and say teacher, okay, dot. That means space teacher will be appended to I am good. That means it will become I am good teacher. Okay, I'm good teacher, let's say. Okay, and not only that, guys, after after appending the text into this text field, uh, I have to press the keyboard tab key. Okay, I have to press tab key in the keyboard. How to do that? Dot send the keys. It's not coming here, so I'll do one thing. I'll just copy this, paste it here. Dot send the keys. Okay, so how to press the tab key with the help of send the keys command? On this particular field, when I'm in this field, I will, I'm going to press the tab key. For that to happen, dot send keys. There's a predefined class in Selenium known as keys class, dot tab. We have to type tab, okay? Over the mouse on the keys class and import it from Selenium library. So this send keys, same send keys command need to be used for pressing and releasing the tab key. So you see after here space and teacher will be appended. After that immediately in the same field, I'm pressing the tab key. The moment I press, Keyboard tab key, I went to this place. Now, what's the next activity? You see keyboard tab key is done. Next is, you know, what is inside the text box field, okay? So that means uh, it's, it's asking us to retrieve this particular text using Selenium Java automation and print it into the Eclipse ID output console, okay? For that to happen, first I have to right click inspect this uh, text box field, this HTML code of the text box field, and it has an ID. I'll copy this ID and create a web element for locating this text field first in the script. So here I'll write down, driver dot find element by dot id id locator of the text field okay then after that when uh, when i inspect this uh, text field after that you can see that this particular text that i want to retrieve from this text field and print it into the exclusive id console is is nothing but a value of this value attribute that means i'll take this value name of this attribute that is value and here i'll write a command dot get attribute command in selenium i'll use and uh, double quotes paste it Paste the name of the attribute from which you want to retrieve the value. See, value of the value attribute will be retrieved in this case. This uh, Orton IKC will be retrieved here. Okay. This is the text I have to retrieve, right? I'll retrieve that and I'll store that. Okay. Spr spring retrieve text is equal to like this, I'll say. And not only that, I'll just print it out actually. Okay. In output console, I would like to print it out. So retrieve text. I'll print it out. Okay. So what will be printed? So this particular text that is retrieved, that is uh, autonic KC will be printed, okay? So first activity is done here. This is the second activity, the third activity. Now fourth activity. Fourth activity is I have to clear this particular text. For that to happen, inspect this. Inspect this and uh, you see there's an ID. Copy this ID. Copy this ID. And here I'll write down private.find element by dot ID. Provide the ID locator. Uh, then 
what is the command in selenium clear command using the clear command what is the text that is already there in the text field will get cleared like this okay once the text is cleared here i'll go with the next activity that is confirm edit field is disabled okay confirm edit field is this particular field is in disabled state or not i have to confirm i will right click inspect this text field so i'll take this id copy this id and come back here and write down driver dot find element by dot id provide the id locator of that uh, text field and uh, say dot uh, is enabled command there's a command in selenium known as is enabled command this ena is enabled command will return true if this particular element is in enabled state but if this particular element that you are uh, that you are checking is in disabled state then is enabled will return false so here boolean value will come boolean uh, enabled status en enabled status okay i'll write down enabled status if the enabled status is true means this field is in enabled state but in this case what's happening is this particular field is not in enabled state so in uh, is enabled will return false that will go and fall into this enabled state okay so i'll write down something like this if if enable status okay status if it is uh, true means okay if it if this particular is enabled is returning true means then i'll write the print statement here system dot ntln okay field is in enabled state field is in enabled state i'll write down okay then okay so here i'll write down just not give much spaces here. Else, I'll write down system.out.println field is in disabled state. Disabled state. Which field? Uh, I can write down that here. Edit field. Okay. Here I'll write edit field is in enabled state. Edit field is in disabled state. Okay. So what will be printed in this case? In this case, is enabled for this particular field which is in disabled state will return false. If false means else block will be um, else block will take the control and edit field is in disabled state will be printed. Done. After that, confirm text is read only. Okay. I have to confirm whether this particular text is read only or not. I you see this read only means I cannot modify the text. Okay. I cannot clear the text and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. How to confirm that this particular uh, text field is in a read only state? When I inspect it, you just observe a property, guys. Okay. When I inspect this text field, you will observe a property that there is a read only attribute for all the all the text fields which are only read only where you can only see the text but you cannot modify or update the text right they will have an attribute known as read only attribute guys okay if we check that this read only attribute is available in the html code of this element we can confirm that this particular field is in read only state okay for doing that i'll copy the id of this uh, particular uh, uh, field and uh, create a web element here driver dot find element by dot id by dot id i'll provide the id locator of that uh, you know field and uh, say dot okay id locator dot dot get attribute i'll say okay this is the way we have to do guys get attribute which attribute read only attribute okay if this attribute is available okay if this attribute is available so internally what's happening is uh, optionally here you cannot see what is there but uh, this is equal to like this guys okay if you say true also this is same thing okay if, if i say false especially if i say false it's not read only guys okay this i can uh, you know uh, read only okay something is happening but uh, you know if i remove the read only otherwise if read only is there means uh, it is true guys okay false value will not be there anyhow mm, but if i do something like this you see, I can modify the text, right? Now I'm able to modify the text. Again, if I add read only here, if I add read only here, read only attribute, either read only or read only is equal to true. Both are same guys, okay? Read only or read only is equal to true. If, whatever if I add, you see, I cannot modify the text. It has become read only, okay? So if, if only attribute, one attribute like read only is available means its value true is available internally, okay? Read only means it has a true value. So in this case, get attribute read only will return true because that uh, field is in uh you know read only state so here string value will come string and double quotes through whatever the value right okay so read only state i'll say read only state status is equal to like this l right and here i'll write down the code if read only status dot equals you have to write equals because 
whatever the value that uh, this true value that is coming is nothing but value of this read only attribute is in string format okay like this if it is true you have to compare like read only status dot equals true then system dot order print ln system dot order print ln then i'll write down uh, confirm text confirm confirm text field is in read only state if it is true means read only only right is read only state okay otherwise else i'll write down system dot out dot ln confirm text field is not in read only state okay is in editable state or read only is not in read only state so that's it guys this is the code we have to write guys okay this is the code we have to write uh, for these things to happen and all okay this is the complete code so the URL of this particular application, okay, where this uh, testing uh, automation need to be done and at the same time, the code that I have written for automating this uh, activities in this particular page, everything I'll uh, put in the description of this video, guys, you can take it from there, okay? And uh, you can see here, you know, all the suggestions are all also given while you are working on these activities. You see, some tips are given like, you know, for this, you have to use send keys, you have to use a tab key, then uh, get attribute, clear command, ease enabled command, whatever the commands that are re required for automating this particular fields, right, are given as suggestions here, guys, you can do that, okay? Fine. So let's run the script and see whether the things that we have automated are working fine or not, right, click run as Java application. The browser has launched, it got maximized. It's opening the page, you see first, it has entered my full name here. I am. It has appended space teacher into this uh, field. Then uh, it has. It would have retrieved this particular text and printed in the output console here. You see the text has been retrieved and printed. Fourth one, it has cleared the text here. And fifth one, confirm edit field disabled. Let's see whether it has confirmed or not. Edit field is in disabled state. It has printed. That is working fine. And uh, last activity, one, two, three, four, five, sixth activity. Uh, we have to confirm whether this text field is in read only state. Let's see. Confirm text field is in read only state, it is also done. So this is the automation code we have to write uh, for uh, getting this activities automated with the help of Selenium Java. So hope guys, uh, you got an idea how to do all this stuff, okay? And uh, hope you got some little bit confidence from this video, okay? There's a part four of this uh, practice Selenium Java automation here training series. And in upcoming sessions also, we are going to cover a lot of other web, different websites from where you can practice Selenium. Uh, you know, Java automation on different fields and different websites to get more confidence and, uh, you know, to get more confidence. Okay. So that's all for this session, guys. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.